looking. Say hello. Hello. And welcome to Mr. C and Lucy's. Say hi, Lucy. Say hi. Hi. Presentation on perimeter. Oh, yeah. When we're talking about perimeter, we're talking about the distance around something, right? Oh, yeah. Say, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. So, first, let's ask the question that we always ask, we always should ask. It's important. Why do I need to know this? Why do I want to know this? Well, there's a bunch of reasons. Perimeter is crucial. Crucial means really important. What does crucial mean? Really important. Really important for building things and constructing things, putting things together. Uh, it's also important for all sorts of design. So even if you're not actually putting things together, if you're thinking about putting things together, then you kind of have to know perimeter, right? Oh, yeah. Say, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then finally, uh, it, it helps you when you're trying to fit a big couch in through your small doorway. <gasps> and you might go, what? I don't have to do that. Well, but I have to do that. And when you're older, you're probably going to have to do that. And that's the one thing that... You know, my wife and I always talk about when we're shopping for furniture is, can we fit that to the front door? Okay, so it's practical applications of perimeter. All right, you ready to see this? Say, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're going to take a look. I'm going to show you a video starring some pretty cool people, right? Mm-hmm. And check out the video. It's going to show you what the word perimeter means, okay? Remember, perimeter just means going around the outside. So a lot of times you'll hear like soldiers talk about it. The perimeter is secure. Okay, that means that they have a base. That means that all around the outside of their base is safe. There's nobody trying to get in. So let's watch this video. You ready? Okay, you gotta be quiet. Here we go. Hello and welcome to a demonstration by Mr. C. Yes, I am in my pajamas, because I don't even have to get out of my pajamas to show you what the word perimeter means. I brought my buddy here, Lucy. Say hi, Lucy. Hello. And she is going to help show you what the word perimeter means. She's going to walk around the perimeter of my driveway. Yes, that is my driveway. She's going to walk around the outside. She's going to be walking the perimeter. Are you ready, Lucy? Okay, ready? Go, nice and fast. There we go. Look at her go. She's going all the way, yes, to that corner. All right, down this line here, good, good. She's turning at the corner there. Uh-oh, there's some obstacles at the trash cans. Keep going. By the trash cans, all the way to the corner. Hey, 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 no cutting corners, get back here. Yep, she's gonna go all the way up to the corner, next to the tree, and then finish. Very good, the last side. Go ahead, Luce. All the way back to where she started. So let's see if she can tell us what she did. Lucy, what'd you just do? Uh, walk around the driveway. Yep, she walked around the outside of the driveway. So she walked around its perimeter. Can you say the word perimeter? Perimeter. All right, give all my students a big kiss. Say bye. Bye. Awesome. That was a great example of perimeter good job assistant high five all right now we're going to take a look at some quadrangles uh and how you would find the perimeter of that okay so let me just give you an example so so here's my driveway lucy and i went out afterwards and actually measured this okay my driveway is a big rectangle you might call it a quadrangle because it has four sides, anything with four sides. So uh, the long side of my driveway is 20 feet, okay? The short side of my driveway is only 10 feet. Now, this is all I need when I'm dealing with a rectangle, okay? This is all I need to find the perimeter, right? Because it's the distance around the outside. So all I'm going to do is add this side. Here, I'm going to change colors to make it easier. I'm going to go this side, plus this side, plus this side, plus this side. Okay, so let's start right here. What does that say, Lucy? Do you see it? Do you know what that says? Do you know that number yet? That's the number 20. Can you say 20? 20. So we've got 20. Now we're going to add to it, just like you were walking around the outside. We have 20 feet plus, what number is this? It's the number 10. 10. Plus 10 feet. 
Now we're gonna add this side. But Mr. C, that side doesn't have a length. How do we do it? Well, look, it's the same length as this side in a rectangle, right? You have two sides uh, that are the same length. They are parallel to each other. So this side is also 20 feet. So we're gonna add 20. And then the last side over here. Now I get it, this side is also 10 feet. That's right, it is, smart student. See, look, 10 feet, 10 feet, 20 feet, 20 feet. So we're gonna add 10. Lucy, do you know what 20 plus 10 plus 20 plus 10 is? Do you know? Yeah. Mm, zero plus zero plus zero plus zero is zero. And zero. Two plus one is three, plus two is five, plus one is six. And six. that that number is 60. Now we're not done until we give it a label. It's 60 feet. Okay? You can do this every time. Let's here, let's find the perimeter of one more shape. It's going to be a weird shape. You want to do a weird shape? Okay. So let's say it's like this, and then 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 this. Okay? Let's say we've got this is three feet, four feet, three ah. feet three feet, let's say this is eight feet, and this here is six feet. Now I didn't put the little labels on them all, but that's not important, we can put the labels on afterwards. What do we do to find the perimeter? Well, we add them all up. Can you say add them all up? Add them all up. So let's do it. So we got three plus four plus three plus three plus eight, plus six. Oh my gosh, this is a hard one. So three plus four is seven, plus three is 10, plus three is 13, plus eight is 21, plus six is 27 feet. See, look, we just found the perimeter of that shape. Cool, huh? Yeah. Okay, it's the distance all around the outside. Okay, so should we talk about what we learned again? Mm -hmm. All right, let's do it. First, let's erase everything that we did here, and let's talk about what we just learned. Well, we learned a few things. We learned what the word perimeter means. Do you remember what the word perimeter means? Mm -hmm. What does it mean? Uh, around. Yeah, around the outside. Good, very good. Give your brain a high five. Like this. Good job, good job, brain. Okay, we also learned that perimeter is useful for all sorts of things. Okay, for fashion, for construction, for design, for lots and lots of things. And we learn how to measure perimeter. Okay, you find the different distances around the outside of a shape. So, what are we going to do? You're going to try it! Are you excited? What kind of shape should I draw for them to try it? Um, rectangle. Okay, let's draw a rectangle. So you need to find the perimeter of this rectangle. And I'm not going to make it easy. Okay. This is a rectangle, okay? So these sides are equal and parallel. These sides are equal and parallel. And let's say, pick a number. Um, Any number. Uh, seven. seven. Okay, seven feet. This side of the rectangle is seven feet. Oops. And this side of the rectangle is two feet. Okay? So what is the perimeter of this rectangle? Okay, tell me what it is. And then one more shape. Let's do a crazy shape. Uh, let's do like a, like a, like an octagon. You want to do an octagon? Okay, so ready? Octagons have eight sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Very good. So this is an octagon. And I'll give you the measurements. Let's say these are all feet as well. So we got two feet, three feet, two feet, five feet. Six feet, four feet, five feet, and one foot. What's the perimeter of that shape? You have to figure it out. Cool? Now, here's the other challenge. I want you to draw a polygon of your own. And I want you to show that it has the same perimeter as one of these shapes. So after you find the perimeter of both of these shapes, I want you to draw a polygon that has the same perimeter but it can't be the same polygon. You can't copy me. So you can't do a rectangle of seven by two feet. And you can't do an octagon that looks crazy just like this. You have to do your own, and it has to have the same perimeter. You think they can do it? Mm -hmm. All right. Say good luck. Good luck. Say I hope this helped. I hope this helped. Say bye. Bye.